Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project food delivery system and you can tell also food ordering system and I have developed this project in Node.js uh, and the MySQL and Angular. So for server side scripting, I'm using Node.js and the version for the node I'm using in Node version 14 and uh, MySQL version is 5.6 and Angular version I'm using 13, right? So currently angular 13 is in the market that is the latest version so i am using angular latest version 13 for developing ui so because this is a web application so other technologies we are using that is the html css and some of the third party libraries also we are using along with the angular right so let me show you the structure so i am running this project from the command prompt you can see uh, so i am running here and this serve and it's showing that the project is running right so ng serve is for the client application means angular application and this is for the node.js application right so here i am using node server.js for node.js application right so for coding part if you see so i have added two things here the first one is a client here so client contains all of the angular part right if you go inside the src folder then you will get all of the app uh, components right here you can see the app and here category front end all of the uh, components are available here right so front end is the front end part right and you can see all of the components here right so you can see these are the components and these are the html part right on the same way uh, uh let me show you the uh, versions of the angular so you can see this is the angular version 13 i'm using angular version 13 right so this is for the angular side and if we go inside the server then it contains the node.js application and all of the code and the business logic is available inside the controller helpers are here and mid-level models are here right and the routes are here right so these are the structure of the uh, server applications right which we have developed with the node.js application right so this is the basic structure what we have followed for developing this project the food delivery system or online food ordering system right so for running this project you need to run the npm install first and after that if you get the node modules folder as you are seeing it's available here then after that you can run this project using node space server.js and then for client part uh, you can uh, install the you can install that npm install and after that you will get the node models folder again here and you can run angular application using the ng uh, serve method right and uh, port for port we are using 3000 port for the a node application and 4200 for the uh, angular application that is a default default port for both of the application right so let me go through the functionality explanation that what we have developed inside this project right so this project is a mini project developed in node.js mysql and uh, angular right and version i already explained you right so once you run the ng sub command you will get this page home page right here you can see some images are coming the food categories are coming and these all food categories are coming from the database that is the mysql database right if you click on the about then you will get the about of the project and the food category you can see all of the food categories are coming right and this is the customer login from where customer can log in and customer can buy products right put five foods this the registration if customer doesn't have the credentials then customer can create their account credential from here this is a contact us and this is a static contact us page there is nothing dynamic we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page feedback is also a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right so this is a customer driven application there is no admin panel available inside this project there is no admin panel there is only customer panel because this is a mini project right so let me go through uh, the login so the user id is 
at the rate gmail.com and password is test once you log inside the system then you will get this dashboard right here you can home about and order now my orders you can see all of the orders which you have made earlier right so you can see these all are the orders if you click on this icon then you will be able to see what the orders you have made and what what is the total amount so each and everything will be calculated automatically and will be displayed here right so now i am going to order some of the food right so here click on the food category and what type of category you want what type of food category you want to explore or you want to order italian food then after that go on the details and you will get the details of the food items and add to cart and you can see that item has been added into the cart right then this one indian foods then this one add into the cart right this is a company means restaurant name right so again i am going to add some other chinese foods also and this one details add to cart right so three items i have added into the cart this is a product one two seven nine right and these are the name these are the cost right each and everything if you click on the continue ordering then you will go on the category base and after that you can add some of the foods from there also right so i have added this number of foods now if i want to delete someone just click on the delete button that item will be removed from your cart right and this all logic the fronting logic we are performing through the angular application once you click on the checkout then you will get a simple payment page that is the dummy payment page there is nothing realistic in this right we are not making any type of third party api calls this is a dummy static page enter your card number enter anything here there is no need of enter the credit, correct credit card details just search enter e enter the information here and just click on the make payment and after that you will see your order 11 has been placed and these are the details of the order number 11 right and you can see your orders in the my order section this is the order number 11 and once you click on this check arrow you will be able to see that order right this is a logout button once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to get this administration menu right you can see the administration menu is not displaying because it's a session driven it's rendering according to the session if you log in then you will be able to see your orders but if you log out then you will not be able to see your orders right and customer will be able to see theirs their order only not the order of others right so there is no admin panel available here but if you need the admin panel then we will integrate those admin panel also according to your requirements right so this all functionality we had developed inside this project food delivery system and as i told you earlier this is a node.js mysql and angular based web application and this is a mini project right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much